The topography of Valley Forge can be breathtakingly beautiful with its rolling hills and expansive valleys. The highs and lows of the Valley Forge landscape are determined by the type of rock below the surface. Geologically, three basic rock types are found here, limestone, quartzite, and sandstone. Limestone fills the valley area in the center of the park and underlies the small hills bordering the Grand Parade south and east. Quartzite underlies Mount Misery and Mount Joy in the western portion of the park. Sandstone, often referred to as red beds due to its reddish color, forms a terrace on the north side of the park leading down to the Schuylkill River. This land has been shaped through weathering and erosion by water. Water weathers rock by dissolving it or erodes the rock away by carrying away particles. Several distinct landscape features have emerged due to weathering and erosion by water. Let's look, for example, at the Valley Creek Gorge. Rocks composed largely of quartz are dissolved very slowly by water, and these areas remain in the landscape as high points, like Mount Misery and Mount Joy. Nonetheless, water remains a shaping force as streams flow down and cut away the bedrock. Such erosion is dramatically illustrated in the Valley Creek Gorge, where constantly flowing streams over millions of years have cut through the resistant quartzite underlying the hills. In a similar manner, the Schuylkill River cuts its way through the sandstone terrace in the northern portion of the park. Compared to quartz and sandstone, limestone dissolves relatively quickly in water. Areas underlain by limestone can be seen in the park landscape as valleys, such as the Grand Parade, or small hills, such as the ridge along Outer Line Drive. Notice that there are no streams on the surface in the Grand Parade ground. This is a feature common to areas underlain by limestone. Over many years, solution tunnels form beneath the ground surface. When it rains, the water simply disappears into this underground drainage system where it replenishes groundwater or reappears at the surface somewhere else as a spring. These underground tunnels form a network of caves which occasionally collapse creating sinkholes. The park landscape is speckled with sinkholes and caves. When you look out at the Valley Forge landscape, just stop and think. These features are basically the same as when George Washington viewed them. In fact, the topography of Valley Forge is one of the primary reasons that this site was selected for the Continental Army's winter encampment. Imagine the valley of the Grand Parade filled with troops marching. The high ground of the hills bristling with cannon. The ridges lined with huts as far as the eye can see. Those hills and valleys remain constant, covered by fields and forests, and offering recreation and renewal to the many people who enjoy Valley Forge National Historical Park.